guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And as many of you know, I love dinosaurs. Which means I am pretty excited about the new Jurassic World movie that's coming out. And so in honor of the new movie, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own mosquito and amber that is inspired by the original Jurassic Park movie. This piece turned out really awesome. It took a little bit of time to figure out the proper ratio of food coloring and resin to get this color just right. You can put this in a regular mold or you can make your own oval one. I really like the oval one because when you turn it around, it looks like you cut a slice right in the back. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and share this video. Here's what you'll need for this project. Some scrap clay, black, translucent, rounded and pointy tools, a cutter or scissors, some very thin wire. This is going to be for the mosquito legs, so try to get as thin as possible. Mold maker. If you don't have mold maker, that's okay. You can use a regular mold and I'll show you both methods. If you're going to make your own mold, you're going to need to put a piece of plastic and this is just the top part of a jello cup and I just glued it around with a glue gun. Your resin kit. I know many of you live outside of North America, so if you're looking for resin, make sure that you search for epoxy resin at your hardware store. Food coloring and black acrylic paint. If you want to make your own mold exactly the same shape that I did, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because it's fairly simple. You're just going to take your scrap clay, make an oval out of it, and lightly flatten down one side. And then you're just going to bake that piece for about 10 minutes. Once you have that, you're going to put it in your container, mix your mold according to the packet instructions, and just pour it on top. Now we have our mold. For the mosquito, what you're going to do is you're going to take your black clay and roll it into a small thin log. And then for the head, you're going to take your pointy tool and make a slight separation. And then you're going to make the front part of the head a little pointy. For the wings, you'll take your translucent clay, roll it out really thin, and place it right on top. Now for the legs, you're going to take your wire and cut them out fairly tall compared to the body. Now it's very important to make sure that your wire is not straight. You want the shape to be a little random and squiggly, so you want it to be organic for it to look a little more realistic. If you have liquid Sculpey, go ahead and put it underneath just to make sure that it sticks under there. So here's a tiny one I made for the oval mold, and here's another one for the flat mold. Now you're going to bake your mosquito at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Once it's baked, you're going to go ahead and paint the legs black. For the resin, what you're going to do is mix it according to your package instructions, and then you're going to add yellow food coloring. Mix it in until you have the color of the amber. For the molds, there are two different ways to do it. For your regular mold, you're just going to pour it in and then put your mosquito, and then you're just going to let it sit for about 16 hours, and it should be good to go. For the oval mold, you're going to put your colored resin only halfway through, and then you're going to wait about four to six hours just so that it's actually hard enough. You don't want it to sink in. Then you're going to put your mosquito, and then you're going to mix another batch of colored resin and put it all the way on top. Don't worry that it looks like this. That's because our mold was not shiny, so the piece isn't shiny. What you're going to do now is just sand the back part. I'm using a 100 grit sandpaper, and then you're going to glaze it either with your normal glaze or with resin. Now you're going to let these completely cure again, so at least 12 to 16 hours. All done! I can't wait to see that movie and, of course, Chris Pratt. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Equally, add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.